What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about what should you learn after HTML and CSS. Alright guys, there is a lot of people asking me this question but in particularly uh, Creative Girl and Captain Alpha, uh, two of my subscribers in here, they ask me this question. Let me get started with this kind of situation in here with the HTML and CSS. You guys obviously start with this kind of thing with HTML and CSS but there is a lot of you that you get stuck into the part of the CSS you feel like ah oh, do I need to master CSS in order to for me to go after to JavaScript because I don't want to go to JavaScript before I know uh, CSS really well I feel like I need to know 100% of the CSS and I'm gonna tell you something in here. We always feel like this. And I'm gonna tell you something else. You don't need to know all the CSS. When you are gonna start out in your first junior position or just like in your projects, there are so many things that you don't use on CSS. You don't really need to use, for example, CSS animations all the time. You don't need to use, for example, box shadows. There are so many things that you don't really need to use in CSS that you don't need to master. One thing that you need to know is you need to be aware of the knowledge. You need to be aware that you can do this kind of thing with CSS. This is one important thing, okay? You just need to be aware of the content of what you can do. It doesn't it doesn't matter that you that you have the knowledge how to do it because you can go into Google and if you want to do some kind of CSS animation, if you want to do some kind of CSS box shadow or all these kinds of different effects, you can go to to Google quickly and, and know the answer to these kind of things. This is something that you guys get stuck. I, I was like this as well before. I was like, oh, I can't go into JavaScript yet because uh, I don't know CSS uh, enough. You know, I feel like I don't. You just have to jump. You, ju you just need to jump into JavaScript. Even though you feel like you don't know enough CSS or whatever, just jump into JavaScript because JavaScript is going to be very important for you to get for example, a job as a front-end web developer. After you learn your HTML, CSS, you jumped into JavaScript, you start to learn the basics. You start to, you know a little bit of JavaScript, you know whatever, uh, and then you are you are asking me, there is a lot of questions, hey, tell me, uh, I don't know the sequence, I don't know what to learn after. Okay, I started with HTML, I started with the CSS, after I went to JavaScript, I know a little bit more, but now there are so many things out there that I don't know where to start. Should I go, should I go and learn SAS? Should I go and learn Bootstrap? Should I go and learn React, Angular? What should I go and learn next? And what I'm, I'm going to tell you is, in order for you, in order for you to get a job, to, to get your first job ever, I recommend you to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript after, you need to get some basics, you need to understand it, you, need, you don't need to be a master, you don't need to know object oriented, it's good, it's a plus if you know it, okay? But for your first job, you don't need to be a master of JavaScript with all these kind of things or whatever, object oriented and uh, primitives and closures, it's a plus. I don't tell, I'm not telling you to not learn it, but I'm telling you that this is not really necessary to get your first job as a front-end web developer. Because I'm going to tell you, most of the things that you are going to be building as a junior developer, it will be really simple things. I'm telling you, and whoever tells you the opposite of this is lying, okay? Because most of the junior developers, unless of course you are you are applying for some Facebook or you are applying for some Google or whatever that they want just genius in there. Maybe these kind of people in there, they will require everything and, and something else. But if you are going for a regular company, you if you have enough knowledge of JavaScript, a little bit, you know, the basics and you know a little bit more, it will be enough. And the other skills that I really recommend after is bootstrap, okay? After JavaScript, go into Bootstrap, because I'm going to tell you, all the companies out there, if not all of them, they use Bootstrap. Bootstrap basically helps you build a website fast. This is what companies they want. They want to build websites really fast. 
to deliver to their clients and bootstrap really helps with this most of the companies they will use it so this is something that i i tell you it's really a priority and then of course comes comes react and comes angular but i'm gonna tell you if you are someone who has already dedicated some time learning javascript you are already very comfortable with it if you know JavaScript well, you can even tell them that you know well JavaScript and if they are requiring a React or Angular, most likely you can even learn it at the job. And this is, this is another thing that I wanted to cover about the learning topic. You guys are going to learn the most, you're going to increase your knowledge, your skills, everything about web development, about coding, about building pages, when you are in the actual job. Not at home. At home when you are doing these kind of tutorials from YouTube or from Udemy, this is not how you learn. You're going to learn the most when you are at the job. This happened with me and this happens with everyone. When you get into your first job and you see so many different projects and you are actually sitting down for long hours every day in your job, this is where your skills are really, really, really going to grow. And, and, and look at this. You are learning you are getting paid for learning and you are becoming a better developer, okay? <laughs> so really, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Don't overthink. Don't overthink these kind of things because there is, this, this is what happens all the time in life. The most smart people, the brilliant people, they are the ones all the time hesitating. They are hesitating to, to do this, to start a business or whatever. And sometimes, for example, I'm talking about in a classroom, in the, in the school, like the kids. The most brilliant kids that they are in the classroom, maybe they are going to grow up to work for some big companies or whatever. And maybe the, the least smart kids, but the ones that they are very practical, they don't think too much, let's just do it. These kind of people are the ones that they start companies and then they employ the other very smart kids or whatever. You see, it's all about action. Even though you feel like you don't know enough CSS or JavaScript, you just need to jump. Jump into it, see what you can do and start to apply for jobs. And just as a resume of this kind of video, it's really go through your HTML, CSS. You don't need to become a master in CSS. You need to know how to, of course, style a page. You need how to move the elements on the page. This is important, of course. But there are some whistles and bells that you don't really need. And then, of course, you got JavaScript after. This is important. The more you know, the better. But you don't have to know everything. Like I told you, you don't need to know object-oriented programming and many other things. Most likely, some companies out there, they don't even use it, okay? And then, what I really recommend is Bootstrap, okay? Bootstrap is really important because all the companies use it. And then, of course, you got React, Angular, Vue. If you know it, it's a plus, but it's not really required for an entry job level of a junior developer. If you know it, of course, it's a plus. Not all the companies, they are going to ask for it. But if you know the basics of JavaScript, it's going to really open a lot of doors for you. All right, guys. So I think I answered all these questions for you, Creative Girl and Captain Alpha. Yeah, guys, if you have any questions like these, just send them on, on my email, on my comments in here. If you want to become one of my students as well, because I got a lot of emails all the time from you guys to become some one of my students where we do some kind of project together and some calls together, just send me an email. Don't forget to check my courses. My, my screen just went off. Don't forget to check my courses on telmostampayo.com as well. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.